Revelation revealed that the altar is a pile of bones and that the secret ceremony that George Bush underwent during his initiation was thus. On the day of his initiation, George Bush was conducted through a long, dark passage into an immense hall draped with black. He was able to see by the faint light of sepulchral lamps, corpses, corpses in their shrouds, the altar, built of human skeletons, stood in the center. Ghostly forms moved through the hall, leaving behind them a foul odor. At length, two men, dressed as specters, appeared and tied a pink band of ribbon smeared with blood around his forehead. Upon this was an image of the Lady of Loretto. A crucifix was placed in his hand, and an amulet hung around his neck. His clothes were removed and laid upon a funeral pyre in a fireplace while upon his body crosses were smeared in blood. Then his pedenta were tied with string. That's his genitals. Now five horrid and frightening figures, blood-stained and mumbling, approached him and threw themselves down in prayer. After an hour, sounds of weeping were heard. The funeral pyre started to burn, and his clothes were consumed. From the flames of this fire, a huge and almost transparent form arose, while the five prostate figures went into terrible convulsions. Now came the voice of an invisible hierophant, booming from somewhere below as George Bush lay in a coffin naked. The words were those of these oaths which the candidate had to repeat. Quote, in the name of the crucified one, I swear to sever all bonds which unite me with mother, brothers, sisters, wife, relatives, friends, mistress, kings, superiors, benefactors, or any other man to whom I have promised faith, service, or obedience. I name the place in which I was born. Henceforth I live in another dimension, which I will not reach until I have renounced the evil globe which has been cursed by heaven." From now onwards, I shall reveal to my new chief all that I have heard or found out, and I shall also seek out and observe things which might otherwise have escaped me. I honor the aqua tofana. It is a quick and essential medium of removing from the earth through death or robbing them of their wits of those who oppose truth and those who try to take it from our hands. I shall avoid Spain, Naples, and all other accursed lands, and I shall avoid the temptation to betray what I now have heard. Lightning will not strike as rapidly as the dagger which will reach me wherever I may be, should I betray my initiation. Unquote. Now a candelabrum bearing seven black candles is placed before the candidate, and also a bowl containing what is supposed to be human blood. He washes himself in the blood and drinks a quantity of it. The string around his genitalia is removed. He is placed in a bath to undergo complete ablution. After this, he eats a meal composed of vegetables. At this time, he is given his new name, by which he will be known to all of the others in the order, the Brotherhood of Death. And with the completion of his initiation, George Bush joined all of the male members of his family in a long line of ancestry, traced from Robert Ruse to the modern day, he took his place in the order, the Knights Templar, Freemasonry, and has worked diligently to fulfill his role in the completion of the plan, the great work, the formation of the new world order, the one world totalitarian socialist state, the destruction of all existing nation states, all existing religions, and enslavement of the mob. The very highest degrees of the order show that the rationalism and materialism of the thinkers who developed it were determined to stamp out belief in religion. God and any faith in a deity, the initiate was told, were human inventions and had no real meaning. Subsequently, this was developed further, and the member who arrived at the highest position, that of Rex, or king, learned that he was now equal to a king and that all men were capable of equal advancement. Hence, the need for kings over ordinary mortals was an illusion, and at the highest rank, the title of Rex Mundi, or King of the World, is assumed. If you would like to get this genealogy, folks, 
If you're a CAGI member, it's $5. Send it in to the address that you'll hear at the end of this broadcast. For everybody else, it's $10. Good night.